Well, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm here with Greg Callahan, the National Co Coordinator for the Dead Men Walking Play Project, and Greg's joining us from the project's office in San Francisco, California. Welcome, Greg. Thank you. Greg, why don't we get started? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what the, the Dead Man Walking Play Project is? Describe it to us, please. Absolutely. Uh, it's called the Dead Man Walking School Theater Project. And there are a couple pieces of that. There's the school theater part and then the project component. The school theater part, schools produce their own production of Tim Robbins' play, Dead Man Walking, which is based on his film, which itself is based on Sister Helen's book, Dead Man Walking, an eyewitness account of the death penalty in the United States, which was first published in 1993. So this is the 20th anniversary of the publishing of that book. Wow. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the project component has a couple pieces of its own. There's an academic study requirement that we have. We ask that schools involve two academic departments outside of the theater arts in a study of the issue of the death penalty. So in some schools that's reading Helen's book in an English class looking at the death penalty, the history of the death penalty in the United States in a history class. Other schools involve the art department, science department, math department to look at even the economics of the issue. So that's the academic study part and then the other part is to create an environment for discourse in the school, to bring speakers to campus whose lives have been directly impacted by the death penalty, and to share their stories with school communities, and to create an environment where students can discern their own stance on the issue. Excellent. Thanks. And Greg, how do you feel that this project has helped to build a movement to end capital punishment in the United States? I was just looking at a paper that I wrote about the project um, my freshman year of college in 2005. And I, in the last seven, eight years, five additional states have abolished the death penalty since the Dead Man Walking School Theater Project was formed. It's been produced at over 230 schools across the United States, and um, there have even been a couple of productions abroad. Um, so I think the, the movement is spreading. People, as people are getting involved and participating in discourse and bringing the issue and the discussion home with them, we can see a definite trend in uh, a change of people's opinions and hearts about, about the death penalty mm -hmm. in the United States. That's great. Can you tell us, um, so there are many, uh, in our work at the Nation Solidarity Network, we know that there are many Jesuit uh, high schools and even universities that have uh, performed the play. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about how, what, what are the steps, though, that a school that hasn't done it before might go through to uh, bring the play to their school? I think the first step is to visit our website, dmwplay.org. We have a lot of examples of how schools have have done it, some creative ways that schools have approached this project. And I think that will help inspire some creative thinking at a lot of schools of how they can incorporate this study and bring this issue to their community. The next step is to submit a request for a registration pack packet and a perusal script. And in that packet, I have some steps for your school to take to set up the academic study to see how you're going to cast it, what the breakdown will be. So we have a lot of information already available, including some lesson plans from schools that have done the play. And from there, it's just a matter of submitting the request, and it's, uh, it's always approved. Great. Greg, this wasn't on the, um, on the list of questions, but, but um, you're, you're a graduate of Santa Clara University, and could you share just a little bit about how you became connected with this, with this project? Uh, during your time in Santa Clara and now that you've graduated? Sure. It, it started before I went to Santa Clara when I was actually a student at St. Ignatius College Prep in San Francisco. Right. Right. Um, uh, they took a group of us down to Fort Benning to the what was then the Jesuit family teaching, and Helen was one of the speakers. And so this is November 2003, and she one of the things that she talked about was um, that they were creating this play, 
that they were turning Dead Man Walking into a play. And for that first year, 2004, 2005, it was only going to be available to Jesuit high schools and colleges. Uh, and I felt awesome about that because I, I had wanted to go to Santa Clara and I wanted to be a theater major. And um, since I was going to miss it at my high school, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do it in college. So I, I ran the soundboard at Santa Clara, um, but I got to sit in on all the rehearsals, sit in on Helen's talkbacks and her visits to school and read her books. And it was a, a real nice thing to happen. That's great. Um, Greg, as you know, this May we're going to honor Sister Helen Prejean with our Robert M. Holstein Faith Doing Justice Award. And uh, I just want to see if you had any kind of personal reflections of, of your interactions with Sister Helen over the years that you might want to share. That, uh, that November 2003, when she talked about the play, one of the things she said was, the real definition of the word justice is just us. It's up to us to change the world. And that, um, that struck me as a 16, 17 year old that, um, you know, here's this woman who's made her life's work justice, going out and working and being for and with others. And so um, personally inspired by that moment and kind of carrying that thought in my heart with me for the last 10 years, um, it has been really inspiring. And uh, she's an incredible woman and she's touched a lot of lives directly through this project, um, including mine. So I, uh, I'm lucky to have had the chance and to have gotten to know her over the last several years. That's great, thank you. And Greg, can you tell us again, if folks want to find out more information about the Dead Man Walking Play Project, where do they go? dmwplay.org. And we're on Facebook and Twitter, and all of those links are on our website. That's the easiest way to, to get our contact info. Excellent. Well, Greg, thanks so much for, for spending time with us today. And uh, it's great to learn about this important uh, project that really integrates a commitment to justice with the arts. And I think that's a really unique um, way to bring attention to this issue of human dignity. And, and we hope your work continues to go well uh, there at the DMW uh, project. So thanks and uh, have a great day. Thanks, Chris. You too.